So, I got more LED mushroom lights. And I got these ones because they had interesting different things, you know, instead of the usual sort of lotus leaf thing, they had these little sort of rose things that are jammed in. And this one's in a completely different style of package. So, I'm afraid it's a bit of a disappointment because when you pull these covers off the LEDs, the LEDs are soldered in and then heat shrinked. You can't change the LEDs anymore because with the older one, you could just pop the covers off and the LEDs are in sockets and you could just pull the LEDs out, find your own choice of LED colours or just replace them if they went faulty and you could put new ones in, put the cover on and boom, off you go again. Have I put that in right? Yes, I have. So, quite nice. And it even went so far as in the packet to say, Tip, please turn off power to change LED. Notice the positive and negative terminals, it won't light up at the wrong polarity. So they're actually encouraging people to change it and modify it. And Initially, when I read the instructions, it said infinite originality LED, and I thought that was just referring to the colour changing one in the middle. But it is actually, they're referring to the fact that you can customise this by changing the colours of the LEDs to suit your own preference, which is great. I like that. However, the new one, although it's kept the original instructions and it's compressed them down a bit into a smaller area and doubled up, um, they're, they're not changeable and I'm wondering if, they've, uh, if it's different inside as well. Because with the other type, it plugs onto the circuit board and the circuit board, if you recall, is just held on by a single screw pressed against the electrical contact. So let's see if they've given the thing a complete makeover. So we'll pop the screws out. Okay, it's different. Pop the foliage off. Right, for a start, there are wires going onto it instead of just a screw. It's the same base because there's a screw hole that the circuit board would originally have been connected to. And the circuit board itself has the screw hole still. But it appears to be more or less the same circuit board. It's got the same slightly undervalued capacitor if you put it in with an unplugged LED. It's got the same photo sense that just basically shorts out LEDs. It's got the same bridge, the same series resistor, discharge resistor. It's got all the same circuitry. What value is the capacitor? The value of the capacitor is so smudged it's almost unreadable. 220 nano. 400 volt, that's a good result. And the LEDs were originally plugged onto a little connector, that connector there, and they're not this time, they're just soldered on. And likewise, these pads that are originally just pressed against the back of the um, these connections, when this was sandwiched in with the, the screw, just a single screw put through the front, that's a, they've put the wires directly between them, which is maybe, a, that is an improvement because sometimes it made a bad connection. So that's got me wondering about this one. Let's uh, pop this one open as well. Actually, that's not going to reach. Uh, one moment. Now, I also noticed looking down the end of this that they've got holes there that look suspiciously like they're designed to hold LEDs. So technically speaking, it may be available in a version that uplights the foliage. Um, again, these LEDs are not changeable. Let's uh, see if I can use this screwdriver to get this open. It would be easy then to hack that by just putting more LEDs in series and maybe upgrade that little capacitor. And then you could have it uplit, maybe blue uplighting with white LEDs in the flowers, the mushrooms should I say. At some point I will make a, a mushroom light of my own. Just remove some of the covers off these. Oh, this is quite fruity. Oop, the little lens has dropped out the bottom for the cover. It's the same circuit board, but it's just shoved in. It's soldered again. And they've got a little bit of insulation across the back, but again, these um, the foliage. Well, the foliage is all one stock this time, which is interesting. That's different. Um, yeah, yeah. 
Again, I'm a bit disappointed you can't change the LEDs. That's one of the biggest features for me was the fact you could do that. But I suppose really, if you're faffing about with the LEDs, it's you you know there is a bit of a shock risk, and also if people put the LEDs in the wrong way around or or leave them out completely, the voltage could go high enough to make this little capacitor pop. So I suppose maybe maybe that's why they've done that. But uh, yes, this is a start. I think you could just glue some LEDs in there and bridge them in series with these and just. Uh, modify this. Yeah, that's maybe worth a little hack later on. Yeah.